Welcome to Light at Speed. In this video, I will be discussing correlated color temperature, or CCT. Hello and welcome to another edition of Light at Speed with remote controlled lighting and precision lighting. In the era before LEDs, fluorescence and metal halides, the term color temperature was mainly used in theatre, film and photography. This is because the vast majority of luminaires used in projects had bare incandescent light sources. By the way, the definition of incandescent is to emit light as a result of being heated. And although different incandescent lamps did have slightly different warmths of light, generally the colour of light they emitted when they were not dimmed was similar. Colour temperature is measured in degrees Kelvin. The Kelvin temperature scale is similar to the Celsius scale, except where the Celsius scale is based on the pure water freezing point for 0 degrees and the pure water boiling point for 100 degrees, Kelvin takes its zero as the temperature at which atoms themselves can no longer move about. This is also known as absolute zero. Zero degrees Kelvin is minus 273 degrees centigrade. If you take a piece of tungsten wire and heat it up, it will begin to glow red. If you continue to heat it up, it will start glowing more orange, then yellow, and then a lighter yellow, and if you keep going, it will become whiter and whiter until the tungsten itself melts away at 3,700 degrees Kelvin. The light emitted could be plotted on a CIE 1931 chromatisty color space graph, but only up to the point at which tungsten melts. So instead of using tungsten's plots, physicists devise a theoretical model of an object which perfectly absorbs or radiates the electromagnetic spectrum and, at ambient temperature, absorbs almost all of the spectrum and therefore looks black. When the light response of this black body model is plotted on the chromaticity graph, you get the Planckian locus or black body line. The sun is actually a great black body emitter, and the colour temperature of sunlight above the atmosphere is 5900 Kelvin. The sun may appear red, orange, yellow or white from Earth depending on its position in the sky, but the change in colour of the sun over the course of the day is a result of scattering of the sunlight and not due to changes in its black body radiation. Tungsten and the sun, which itself is a burning hot ball of gas and metal, are near perfect in the eyes of white light colour scientists, but reproducing the same light from metal halide fluorescence or LED lamps isn't so easy. If you measure chromaticity readings for these various light sources using a spectrometer, you are given x and y coordinates which you can plot on that chromaticity graph. However useful these two number coordinates are, it's very hard to get any actionable data from them unless you're looking at a live graph on a screen. This is where correlated colour temperature, or CCT, helps. Correlated colour temperature is a measure of a light source's colour appearance defined by the proximity of its chromaticity coordinates to the black body line, but it's given as a single number in degrees Kelvin rather than the two chromaticity coordinates. The correlated colour temperature of a light source can be determined by extending isotemperature lines from the black body line out to the chromaticity coordinates of the source. For example, the plotted point above the black body line lies on the 3000 Kelvin isotemperature line. Thus, the light source has a CCT of 3000 degrees Kelvin. This simplification enables quick approximate colour temperatures for light sources, which is pretty amazing. But remember, if you have another source which has a plot on the same 3000K ISO line, but it resides further down the line, or maybe even on the other side of the black body line, although its CCT is technically the same, it could look significantly more red or pink than the initial source, so be careful. This is because as the plot moves down the y-axis, the light appears more red or pink. Conversely, if you move it further up the y-axis, it'll look more green or yellow. Now, if you're interested in why different LEDs have different light outputs, I go into more depth about it in this video on LED binning. I'm lucky enough to own my own spectrometer, so I've measured some sources around the house. Candlelight has a CCT of almost 2000 Kelvin. Interestingly, it also has a near perfect 99.3 CRI reading. Sunlight at sunrise is 2200 degrees Kelvin. Tungsten halogen lamps, when dimmed to 50% of their brightness, are 2600 degrees Kelvin. A tungsten halogen at full brightness has a CCT of about 3100 Kelvin. 
The LED flashlight on the back of my iPhone 11 Pro has a CCT of 4750 Kelvin and beautiful British cloudy daylight was 6100 degrees Kelvin. Now, why I have my own spectrometer and how exposure to different color temperatures of light is supposed to affect how we feel are subjective subjects for another video. But until then, thank you so, so much for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye bye.